city has seen a spike in murders and shootings in the past few months, and the mayor says a lot of them are gang-related. In tonight's Street Stories, Lisa Evers visits some of the neighborhoods impacted by this uptick in violent crime. This may look like an ordinary storefront to you, but inside is the headquarters for a youth program that many here are hoping will provide solutions to the city's growing youth gang violence problem. The NYPD has set its sights on dismantling the gangs they say are largely responsible for the shootings and murders in the city. We were the only camera allowed on a raid in March in Brownsville. This is a violent, violent bunch of guys. Um, uh, they were all G Stone Crips. Um, we took down associates of theirs uh, a couple weeks back. Uh, during that takedown, uh, we pulled 11 guns off these guys. While overall crime is down almost 7%, shootings are up 7.1% so far this year. Murders are up 15.3%. Even with the increase, it's a much lower number than back in the day. For those of us who were here in the bad old days, uh, when we had 2,000 murders or more a year, a lot of everyday citizens were getting caught in those crossfires. It was a horrible, horrible time. But former NYPD Lieutenant Dr. Darren Porcher says there's cause for concern. Whenever we have violence in a community, it always creates a hazard for the common citizen. So when we think in terms of this violence, bullets have no names. They land anywhere. The majority of those involved in gang or crew shootings are under 21. Many are in their teens. That's why former gang member Shanduk McFadder, now a community activist, established GMAC. Teens at risk have new Apple computers to do their homework, and that keeps them off the streets. There's also a weight room to get them focused on health and to work out frustrations instead of doing it through violence. When you talk about what's happening in our communities, we're really predominantly dealing with cliques and crews. And these are young organizations who really have no leadership, who really have no goals, no, no history of what they're doing. McFadder says he doesn't have all the answers, but he's hoping that his program can at least save some lives this summer. In East Flatbush, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.